Hello everyone, welcome to D4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to create custom theme in Drupal 9 and Drupal 10. So first you have to go to the folder structure. So this is my uh, Drupal 10 folder where I have web themes. Under themes you have to create a folder called custom. And here I am going to create a new folder for custom theme. So it is custom underscore theme and I already opened this folder in VS code so here is the folder under this you have to create a new file called info.oml so theme name dot info dot oml and in this file you have to mention a name for your custom theme so name it is a custom theme description custom theme creation for demo and then and what type it is it's a module or theme it's a theme and then a core version requirement i'm keeping for 9 and 10 9 and 10 after that you have to mention base theme base theme so in drupal 8 we will not be if you are not mentioning base theme base theme will be considered as stable so now base theme is required now base theme i'm keeping olivero here after that um package packages i'm keeping custom here and now we created the info file so now go to your website and click on appearance and here you will be able to see all the list of themes what you have in your uh, website. So here we can see our custom theme. And since we are using Oliver as a base theme, it is using this uh, screenshot here. And then I'm going to click on install and set as default. So instead of Oliver theme here, we are using the custom theme as a default. So when you click on install, now custom theme is installed and set as a default so now we are not using this olivera theme olivera theme and next uh, go to structure block layout when you go and check your uh, regions since we are extending our uh, olivera theme it will not use the olivera regions it will use the drupal default regions so when you open olivera in one side you will be able to see the regions header, primary menu, secondary menu, hero full width. But when you see the custom theme, left sidebar, right sidebar, content, header, primary menu, secondary menu. So you, you will be able to see different regions because uh, when you are not mentioning regions in your info file, it will take the Drupal default regions. Uh, the recommended way is that you have to go to your Olivero theme, web for theme, and then Olivero, open the info file. And here, you copy all the regions, whatever is defined in the Olivero theme. So I'm copying all the regions. And then I'm pasting here. Now we have copied all the regions from the Olivero to the custom theme. Now when you go and uh, refresh here, you need to clear the catchy. So now the catchy is cleared. When you will scroll down and see, so you will be able to see all the Olivero theme uh, region now. Primary menu, secondary menu, hero for width. And also this will use all the templates from the Olivero theme. So when you click on it, it will demonstrate the Olivero regions here. When you assign any block in the regions, you will be able to see the changes in the front end. So I'm going to assign search form in the hero full width. Say I'm assigning, assigning it for all the pages. Once you are done with that, now go to your website and click on home.
So here you can able to see the search form here. So here we are using the Olivero Twig templates here. It is inheriting all the Twig from the Olivero theme. So for regions, you have to mention here, okay? And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.